वेलकम टू माई चैनल हेल्थ फॉर यू डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल बाई प्रेसिंग अ सब्सक्राइब बटन बिलो हाउ टू पॉप अ पिम्पल द राइट वे नो यू प्रॉबेबली शुडेंट स्केज योर जेट्स बट हेयर इज हाउ टू डू इट इफ यू मस्ट पिम्पल्स हैव एन एक फॉर शोइंग अप एट द मोस्ट इन ऑपरचून मोमेंट्स लाइक जस्ट बिफोर अ डेट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रजेंटेशन और मे बी इवन अ वेडिंग figures there is nothing like an angry swollen blemish to shake your confidence now you could go see a dermatologist for a cortisone injection to take the swelling down but that can be expensive or too far to travel often you can't get a last minute appointment anyway plus done wrong it can leave a scar indentation happened to me once although thankfully it went away after a few months but sometimes you have no other option but to take matters into your own hands literally i get it i really do so if you must pop that pimple watch this first how to know when a pimple is ready okay still want to do this thing first you need to avulate the pimple do consider popping a pimple when it has a soft white head this means that the pus is close to the surface of the skin and is ready to be drained without much effort don't try to pop a pimple that is blind or cystic these are deep infected bumps that are far below the skin surface they feel hard and are often painful to the touch how to pop a pimple the right way follow these steps for a successful home extraction clean your hands wash your hands with soap and warm water dry with a clean towel clean your face wash and gently exfoliate your face you may want to do this in the shower to also let the hot steam soften the pus if not you can also run a clean washcloth under hot water wring it out and wrap it over your face for a few minutes sterilize your tools disinfect your needle or cumdon extractor by passing it through a flame let it cool and then wipe down with rubbing alcohol sterilize the pimple dab rubbing alcohol on the pimple itself and surrounding area wipe down your fingers or put on the latex gloves if you are using them Pierce the pimple. Hold the needle parallel to your skin, and then gently pierce the white part at the top and that same parallel direction. So you are piercing it across, not down. The reason you don't want to pierce down is because that encourages the bacteria to be pushed back into the pore. create a small tear while the needle is still in the pimple put it upward to rip yes rip the skin this creates a small clean tear from which the pus can safely drain out since the white head is already dead skin this should not cause any pain or damage to the skin release the pus Now you can gently push down on the sides of the pimple to help get the pus out. Make sure you are wearing gloves or that you have wrapped your index finger in clean tissues. You want to show a scooping motion, pushing down and under so the material can come up and out through the pore. Think vertically, not horizontally. 
be conscious of using the pads of your fingertips to press instead of your nails. You can also use the side of your needle to apply pressure to the pimple. The loop on the come down extractor is just another option but be extra cautious not to press too hard. If nothing is coming out or the pimple start bleeding or weeping then definitely back off. Apply a drying lotion, dab the pimple with rubbing alcohol and then your spot treatment of choice. Leave your skin alone for at least an hour before applying any makeup. You did it. Congratulations on a hopefully successful home extraction section. Now you can cover up your pimple in its final stage of healing. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel by pressing a subscribe button below. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel by pressing a subscribe button below.